love Jesus. ApostolicSundaySchool.com. Hello and welcome to ApostolicSundaySchool.com. Today we're going to do a very simple lesson that recall, requires almost no preparation and a minimal collection of items. You really only need two oranges, a tall, clear glass jar or vase or whatever. It has to be full of water. And that's it. Isn't that cool? You probably have everything you need in your house right now. If you don't have oranges, most other citrus fruits will work. Lemons, grapefruit, whatever. You know, they'll probably work just as well. But I'm going to teach the lesson real quick. So uh, today I want to talk about how we must have the armor of God. For without it, you see, we're completely and totally lost. Can you imagine a night with a K, not, not like a moon and stars, but a knight uh, in the olden days going into battle without his suit of armor on? Do you think he would have had a chance of making it out alive? Well, I don't think so either. The army they would wear was made out of metal. It would cover almost every inch of their bodies from the top of their heads to their tiniest little toes. Can you imagine someone coming at you looking like that? <gasps> I would run. I really would. I would run away like a scared rabbit being chased by a grizzly bear covered with rattlesnakes. I don't know. Something. Well, the armor of God is the exact same for us as Christians. You see, we must have it when we go into battle. Ephesians 6, uh, verses 11 through 18, it says, Put on the whole armor of God that you need to be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. If you don't have the armor of God, the devil is going to win. The Bible says you cannot stand against him without it. And this is why verse 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We're not wrestling people but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore, having the Lord's good about with truth, and having the breastplate of righteousness, your feet proud with the, shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye may be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Well, let me show you this little guy. His name is George, and well, he used to be full of the Holy Ghost. Used to be. He used to be on fire for God, but he hasn't been doing so good lately. You see, he started listening to his teacher in a public school. They told him there was no God. Yeah, then his friends started making fun of him for being a goody two-shoes and going to church. And you know what? He took off a little more of that armor. You see, this is how he used to look. He used to have the armor. And bit by bit, he peeled it off until his fire went out. The love for God that he had drifted away. And soon, he had rid himself of everything that even made him a Christian. He started hanging around the wrong people, saying the wrong things, acting out at school, talking back to his parents, and soon his armor was completely gone. Completely. Hey, look at that. Check him out. Do you think he has any chance in a spiritual battle? Does he have his belt of truth or his breastplate of righteousness, his feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace, his shield of faith, the helmet of salvation? Does he have this sword of the spirit? No. No, he has none of that, not even a little bit. So when he goes into battle, do you think he's going to claim the victory or sink to the bottom and drown? Yep, I don't think he has a chance. He forgot his armor. Oh, goodness gracious me. He sank. Without his armor, he went straight to the bottom. You see, without protection, when you face the things of this life and the things that the devil's going to throw against you, you'll never be able to stay above like that. But, meet Tom. You see this guy here? He's been praying. He's been reading his Bible. He's been going to church. He's been listening to preaching and worshiping and loving God with all of his heart. And now, 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 look at that. He's got the whole armor of God. He's covered from the top of his head down to his tiny toes. He's completely and utterly protected by the power of God. He's ready for battle. Check this out. And yes, you see that? <sighs> when you're living for God, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It'll try to shove you down, and you'll just pop right back up. Go down, and you'll pop right back up. No weapon formed against you 
shall prosper. When you're full of the Holy Ghost, when you're living right, there's nothing that the devil or anybody else can do to keep you down. You're going to make it to heaven. You're going to take a whole lot of people with you. You know, this is kind of a cool lesson. It's very simple. It requires a peeled orange and... I'm not peeled orange. The peeled orange will always float because it has air pockets stored in the skin. And the not peeled one doesn't. So it's going to sink. So this is a very simple object lesson using an orange, which is kind of cool. Uh, if you have a different way to use this object lesson, let me know about it. I'm going to share it with others. I'll put it on the website and we'll maybe even make another little video clip with uh, your idea in there. Or if you have any other ideas for other object lessons, please let me know about it. We want to share them with everybody. But check out the rest of Apostolic Sunday School. There's all kinds of object lessons. There's balloon tying. There's teacher training. all kinds of stuff on there. Check it out. Let us know. Um, you can get a hold of us through info at apostolicsundayschool.com by commenting on the website. However, we don't care. Just get a hold of us. We want you to have a great Sunday school. But God bless and happy Sunday schooling.